And welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam number 10, The Apocalypse. I am TJ the Obscure here with you. Today we are playing uh, the, the Recovery number 2, The Aftermath by Mr. Witty Whiskash, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, it says the recovery number two, the aftermath. So I'm wondering if there's another map that was made before this and they all kind of tie together. I'm not entirely sure. We have spawned on top of a house, apparently. Um, no fancy starting rooms, none of that kind of stuff. We are just thrust into the map. What does that say over there? Cube, cube ink, I do believe. A little smokestack. So it looks like a little village and then maybe a factory of some kind. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and hop in here and see what we can't find. We have... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Holy Dagger, Smite 2, and Unbreaking 1. We have some torches and we have some potions as well. And a bed. Is this supposed to lead somewhere? Is there like something hidden up here? I would probably be able to see it on the other side of the room, right? Yeah, no, I, I think those are just supposed to be like shelves or something. All right, let's let's keep searching around. There's food over here. Now let's keep searching around in all these buildings. Uh, so far, no no mobs, no resistance of any kind. Um, but that may change here shortly. Uh, an axe, some arrows, torches, and more potions. What is that? Soul shackles, jump boost twenty, slowness two. It's a, oh, it's an offensive potion. It locks enemies down. Jump boost is negative. That's interesting. We might have to try that out. I most most offensive potions don't work really well. I find. Uh, okay, we have a bow, but that one seems like it might be one that that could actually come in handy. Bottle of ale plus, and it gives me nausea. I was gonna say, does it have no <laughs> no negative effects? You would think drinking drinking ale would would give you something bad, right? Uh, nothing in the furnaces and an empty chest. Uh, I may end up cutting it here if these houses don't have anything in them and it's just me going around checking the chests. Uh, there is darkness this way. Um, this this looks like it's actually the monument. It's kind of an interesting place for the monument. and it's The room seems rather empty, rather empty except for the monument. All right, yeah, I, I'll probably end up cutting it here, cause so far I don't see anything. It looks like we're just going around trying to get, trying to get gear and whatnot. So I'll be right back with you guys. Ooh, look at this heart gear. Protection two and breaking two plus three to max health. Oh wow, you guys, that's that's pretty generous, I must say. Um, what is that going to give us? Like twenty hearts? No, fifteen, fifteen hearts, I think. Anything in the furnace? Does not look like it. All right, and there are some anvils here. I don't know what we're going to use the anvils for. I could, I guess, combine those, but I don't have any levels at the moment, and we've already been inside of that guy. Is that all the houses? I think that might, might be all the houses, actually. All right, so I guess we're supposed to go ahead and get to it. Uh, this building looks nice. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should head in this building first. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I did not see there, guy. <laughs> Let's back up. Back up. By the way, we are playing in 1.8.9, so no shields. I can still block and do all that lovely stuff. Uh, my guess... Oh, I don't have any blocks. I just realized I don't have any blocks, you guys. Let's light that up. I assume that's where that creeper came from. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab some wood so that we can get ourselves some blocks here. All right, blocks have been gotten. Um, take you out there, guy. Let's go ahead and block that way off. Uh, just go ahead and block that guy off as well. Hide from the skeleton so that he cannot kill us. And I'm assuming that we want to head up the stairs, but maybe we should check out these little side rooms first. Gosh, those guys are doing, like, no damage to me. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. A few spawners in here. Oh, we're going to get surrounded. We're going to get surrounded. Use the critical attacks. Actually, their AI is so very bad in 1.8 that I don't think we're going to have any issues whatsoever. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Oh, he dropped his pants. No, give me my pants back, guy. Give me my pants. What do we have? Blast protection. Don't think I'm going to be using that anytime soon. I hear lots of zombies above me. Uh, so that's something to keep an eye out for. Hello there, Mr. Creeper Guy. 
Uh, line it up. Oh, oh, oh. Big explosion. Let's go ahead and block those guys off. Um, uh, bam. And bam. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Things are coming out of the walls. Where did that zombie come from? That's interesting. Uh, da -da. let's go ahead and shoot you guys, shoot you guys, shoot you guys. Kill the zombie, kill the creeper. Oh, oh, oh. I thought for sure he was going to be dead there, but he was not dead. He did not die. Um, oh, oh, okay, big explosion, big explosion. Go ahead and light you up. Oh, all these rooms connect together, I see. Good to know, good to know. Um, I was just on the Minecraft uh, Reddit server, or <laughs> server, just the, the Reddit page, and I saw a post about the, eth the Ether tube. Um, some of you guys may have played the Ether mod in the past. I'm trying to see if there's anything inside it. Oh. Is this, uh, is this a, one of the wools? Green wool, okay, we got green wool. That seems kind of kind of easy there. Uh, oh, that's probably where the zombie came from, huh? Is there anything higher up on the building? Um, so yeah, I, I saw the Ether 2 mod is, is going to be out for 1.10.2. And I played the Ether 2 a while back. These guys are doing, like, absolutely zero damage to me. Um... Yeah, so I played the Ether before, and I was thinking about doing an LP of the Ether too. If it's if it's any good, that is. I remember last few times I've tried playing it; it's very very buggy. Uh, so I don't know if we'll do that or not. I'm getting the feeling that there's that there's not anything in these rooms. They seem rather empty. Um, I don't know. This one has more stuff than any of the other ones previous. So let's go ahead and get in here and see if we can't find anything. Oh, hello, hello, guy. This sword is just about done for. I should probably check and see uh, if I can combine things now. Let's just go ahead and light that up. And I think that we are done with this place. Again, from what I can tell, there's nothing else in here. So let's just let's retreat and go and check out uh, uh, if we can combine these swords, make it a bit more powerful, and repair the one that we do have. Bam! Like So, yes, we can. Thank you very much there, guy. All right, one wool down, one wool down. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and drop it off, shall we? I think that sounds like a good plan. It's this building right here. Let's say, did I go in that house? I, I could not remember if I went in that house, but it looks like we have been in there. Did I get the, oh no, that wasn't even the first wool. Okay, um, well that seemed like the most obvious place to go first, so. Maybe we're supposed to head in here first. What are these things over here? My my buddies and I we used to hang out by a water tower that kind of <laughs> looked like this. That was it's like an abandoned water tower out in the middle of the fields, by where I live. Uh, okay, there's a door, but there's also a way up top. Um, let's take the door first. That's usually where. Oh gosh, dang. Okay, that's usually where you want to be going first. You know. Through the, through the front door. Okay, he's going outside then. <laughs> I wonder why it was made in 1.8. I mean, not that 1.9 and 1.10 are that much better in terms of mob AI. But, yeah, I wonder why the map maker opted for 1.8. Hello there, little guy. Oh, there are, certainly are a lot of zombies here. Let's just go ahead and close that door off. And well, I don't know why I am trying to... To take out all of... I kind of want to get in here and see what it is. But I don't want... Don't want the water going all over the place. So can we do that? And... Take that guy out. Is there anything in here? Or is it just, just a room full of water? I think there may have been a sign outside that I did not see. Alright, and then there's sponge there. Interesting. A few more spawners over here it looks like. Let's just go ahead and light these guys up. Let's not concern ourselves with trying to destroy them. And there's another wool. Wow, okay. Um, and I hear blaze outside. That's interesting. Go ahead and grab the blue wool. No secrets or anything yet. I forgot to check up on top of the other building. Let's check up on top of this one, though, and see if there's anything. Because there was, was a ladder leading up here, right? And I hear blaze, so maybe we're supposed to head up here next. Uh, da -da -da. let's go ahead and... Hey, hey, stop dodging my arrows there, guy. 
All right, you guys just hang out over there then. And can I take you out, Mr. Blaze? Come on, guy. Come on. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. Let's run over here and take out the spawner. Like a so. Uh, I wonder what the purpose of this stuff up top is. Are we supposed to be going down inside of this? Looks just like lava to me. Don't think we want to go down there. What about the water? Is there something inside of the water? Um... And there was nothing up top, right? Okay. I don't see anything in there. Let's get over here and take out these other couple of spawners. Maybe there's a shortcut to this building or something? Let's just go around in a circle so that they do not hit us. Take out the spawner. And same thing with this one. Alright. What masterfully done. Oh gosh dang guy. Do not fall off. Uh da da, -da. Oh look, there's something over there. Um I kind of feel bad going from the top down, so let's let's hop down, shall we? I kinda wanna test out one of these one of these potions here. Uh so it functions kinda like a slowness two potion would, I think. I thought it meant that it, it locks enemies down as in like they cannot move anymore. I guess they won't be able to jump, right? That's probably what it what it does. Let's go ahead and take one of these one of these ale things. Those of you who get sick, watch out! In comes the nausea. Nausea is incoming. All right, that didn't give us much of a buff, but it should give us a little bit of speed to be able to come in here and light things up. Coal. Spawners off to the side. Let's just go ahead and light all of these guys up like a so. Um, and just an empty room back here. This looks maybe like a map that didn't quite get finished. Once again, a reminder to anybody maybe like new to this series. These maps are all made within 72 hours. Uh, and so they're very much rough drafts. And should not be judged as a, as a full release map. Okay, I think that's probably where we want to be going. But there's a staircase over here as well. Um, oh, they both lead to the same place. Pig spawners. Interesting. Interesting, I say. This is what we saw earlier. Uh, can, we just, can we just hop onto one of these ladders? And avoid the gas, please. Avoid the gas. That is, that is the third and final wool, I think. Um, yeah, third and final wool, okay. Alright, I think that means that we are, we have all three wools, and should just go ahead and leave, leave the area now while we can. Um, yeah, definitely, I don't know, the map seems odd from a design standpoint, because a, a large majority of the spawners are kind of off to the side. Uh, and the player never really has to interact with them. The same thing was true about that dungeon. It was just a bunch of doorways on the side. Um, nothing, nothing too difficult here, I, I would say. Maybe it's all a trick. Maybe it's all, you know, we're going to place them, and then once we place them, like, we get teleported somewhere, and then the, map, the real map begins. That would be interesting. That would be a, a nice start, I think, to a, to a map. All right, blue wool... And red wool. Uh, nope. <laughs> it's definitely not the case. Definitely not the case. Alright, well. Um, I mean, the little village looks nice. And uh, I feel like the armor was far too generous for the challenges that we had to face. The dungeons themselves were kind of short and too easy. Uh, and the, the design of the dungeons, the mobs are all you know, away from the players, so the player never really has to, has to interact with them at all. Um, I like the smokestacks, too. But, yeah, overall, I would say, was there anything in the, in the fountain? I like little secrets, too, so, gosh, dang it, half slabs, go away, half slabs, there we go, there we go. Uh, I would say nothing is in the fountain. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, well, 
a uh, cute little map. I think it would be a nice introduction for for like uh, new players and and that kind of stuff. Like this would be a map that I think my son could probably play and actually defeat. In fact, I might I might show it to him and and have him play it and see how well he does. Uh, but definitely for for like new CTM players, this is going to be way too easy, way too easy. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next map.